Uh, I've just arrived at Manchester Airport. Um, it's early in the morning here in the UK, it's six o'clock. I set off from my house uh, about 3 a.m. So as you can see, I'm very tired. Um, but I'm excited as well because I am heading to America now. Um, it's gonna be a 14 day trip and I'll be seeing Pittsburgh, New York, uh, Cincinnati, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Atlanta, and then finishing in Miami for the MPC Miami Nationals, which I'm really looking forward to that. The next point of call now is heading into Terminal 2 at Manchester, checking my bags in, and then getting into the departure lounge and just chilling. Just got out of the car, and I can't believe how cold it is. I'll be glad to be here, leaving the UK for a few weeks, um, hitting that Miami beach at some point. Got my tickets, I'm all checked in, now food to the party. Um, yeah, I've got four hours to kill, so I've already done a recce of um, the airport and the departure lounge. Um, not much here, I must admit, but I have done the duty free and picked my early Christmas presents to myself, so uh, just got a bit of aftershave and uh, my iron up a really nice watch in there. Um, I've been here a few hours and um, I'm just getting hungry now. So I've uh, got to this little cafe now and I've ordered poached egg on toast. Nice and simple, uh, nice and clean. Um, basically, I've got my coffee in hand and I'm going to give you an update on what my plans are for 2017. The game plan for me. There's a lot of exciting things coming up in January, um, work-wise, business-wise, uh, which I can't divulge too much at the minute, but uh, I'm really excited about that, and um, all will be revealed in January. Um, I am going to compete again before the Olympia. A lot of people are asking me um, what my plans are competing-wise. So uh, I've made the decision I'm going to do the Arnold Classic again. As some of you know, uh, I competed earlier on this year um, with a parasite. Um, I managed to catch that two or three weeks before the Arnold Classic and um, it was a really bad showing for me. I, I placed fourth, um, but uh, for me, it was not an enjoyable experience and I shouldn't really have gone up there because I wasn't 100%. So I want to make amends um, for my fans and uh, I'd love to get that title. Um, so that's that's the goal. Uh, I will have to start my prep just before Christmas. Um, I've, I always give myself 12 weeks. I don't necessarily need that uh, because I don't go too far off in my off season. But I like to get slightly in front and obviously if I'm contending with Christmas, the festive period, and the New Year uh, period as well. I'd like to get slightly ahead um, um, and then I will be having the summer off. Um, not out of choice, the reason for that is uh, my brother's getting married, um, which is brilliant, but I'm best man to him. So he's getting married uh, two weeks in Mexico. So uh, obviously the stag do, I've booked for Budapest for four days in April. Uh, so make most of the summer, you're not going to be able to prep when you're, you're uh, drinking in Budapest and you're doing family holidays for two weeks. So I am going to say this now, and the reason I'm saying this is because it will make me train that bit harder for making such a bold statement. But I am going for that title next year, Mr. Olympia title. I've had two good goes at this, uh, the last two years. I got fourth place in my first year and then second place uh, this year with uh, one point behind the three times Mr. Olympia champion, Jeremy Buendia. So I'm definitely on the right track. I just need to step my game up that bit more and uh, have a really good uh, off season and prep. And then I want to take that title. My breakfast is here. So we got two poached eggs. Not sure why they go on two separate plates, wholemeal toast, and a black coffee. Perfect. Have a look inside. Thank you.
we've landed here in Atlanta. Um, managed to get a bit of sleep, seen two films, uh, Central Intelligence and Tarzan, both great films. Um, so now I've got a two hour layover before I head on to uh, Pittsburgh. Right guys, so that has been an absolute palaver. Um, just got managed to get to my gate. Um, it's, I landed at 20 past two uh, into Atlanta and three hours going through security. Um, absolutely horrendous, worst thing I've ever had to endure in an airport. So we got here in Pittsburgh, um, I've just picked up my luggage and um, I'm heading to get a rental car. I've been up now for uh, about 24 hours traveling. So um, I'm starting to feel the jet lag, feel a bit tired, but uh, we've got a big day of training tomorrow filming. Uh, I'm meeting Jim Mannion, the president of IFBB. Um, I'll be training with his uh, grandson, uh, Tyler Mannion. So I didn't get much choice uh, regarding the uh, rental car, but that is the duty for this weekend. I'm driving on the other side of the road from what I'm used to. There's a lot of speed humps. Right, we need some music, I think. I am on my way to the uh, hotel. I took a little detour, uh, driving the uh, streets of Pittsburgh to find something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. And look what I found. Can you read that sign? Chipotle. So after 26 hours of traveling, I finally made it to my hotel in Pittsburgh. I really need some sleep, so I'm gonna have a quick shower, uh, get into this awesome huge bed, and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning world, it is now day two of my America trip. I've got coffee in hand, Starbucks coffee, which I think is gonna get me through today. That, and I've just ordered my breakfast, so I've gone for scrambled egg, turkey bacon, white potato, uh, granary bread. Hair done, brushed teeth, had a shower. Now I'm heading off to uh, Jim Mannion's private gym to hit uh, a big arm session for FPC News Online. got here at um, the official MPC uh, News Online gym. As you can see in the background, it's all the equipment. And we're taking on a little tour now. It looks pretty cool to be honest. And um, yeah, it's just gave me a little insight into this place and how many people have trained out of here. You've got every single Olympian you can imagine who's trained out of here. Look, just look at the wall. It's got all the uh, posters of all the previous Olympias. We're going well over 50 years uh, worth of um, Olympians and whatnot through here. So absolutely phenomenal. All hammer strength gym. So I'm looking forward to uh, attacking some of these machines. Um, I didn't manage to film any of the workout because um, I had MPC News Online filming. So I didn't want to get in the way. And um, yeah, you'll have to see the footage on MPC News Online in the next uh, few weeks. So I apologize about that. Um, so the only footage you're gonna have is me chatting to yourself again. But. Um, a great time, um, nice uh, to, tr to meet Tyler properly and obviously to train with him. As you can see, I am kitted out in MPC gear now, so um, I've got a massive bin liner full of that, so I'm hoping I can get that into my suitcase. Now I've got to go and get something to eat because I am absolutely starving. So most of this vlog is gonna be me trying to find places to eat and things like that, but um, it is what I do. It's part of men's physique, part of bodybuilding, is eating, eating, eating. So. Um, yeah, I'll probably try and find another Chipotle, um, say, play it safe. Right, this is going to be my third Chipotle in America and I've only been here a day. Uh-oh. Right guys, it is day three of my American trip. Jesus, that was cold. Um, and it's very early as you can see um, in the morning here in Pittsburgh. 
just going to try and find my car in the dark um, as I've got a very early flight to New York. Another airport, another security check, another baggage claim, but uh, all good. I'm gonna get my baggage, or my bag, sorry, should I say, and then I'm gonna get through security, get to the hotel, drop my bags off, and then uh, go and do some sightseeing. Here in uh, New York, we're walking the streets doing my tourists. <laughs> do now, do, we're both doing our vlogging. 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 Kate Miller is scumbag from the UK. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the only man with better abs than Ryan. <laughs> Not. Yeah, basically, I met Kirk, uh, when was it, 2010? 2010, yeah. 2010, and he, you won, was, did you win it? Yeah. Yeah, he won it. That's about the only competing I've done. But, but, uh, men's health. Uh, Men's health come on a competition. And then the I one. was going to uh, start doing the physique shows, but then Ryan said he was going to do it, so <laughs> I'll, I'll be wasting my time. So <laughs> Ryan can have the, uh, the stage thrown. I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just too busy greasing him up. Yeah, he's had a drink, so he's uh, been a bit <laughs> too nice. But we're just uh, on our way now to Memorial Tower. Uh, where obviously, that is where the Twin Towers were. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go and pay our respects and see the uh, fountain at the bottom. So, um, although I'm looking forward to seeing this a bit, yeah, a bit about it, it's a bit of a sad time. But um, yeah, I'll show you in a minute. First day here in New York. As you can see, the sun's setting behind me uh, on the Statue of Liberty. Uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed with today. Absolutely amazing. Um, great atmosphere and great people in the background there. All from uh, England, would you believe? Uh, I didn't expect to see them out here, but um, yeah, some good friends back home. So we're uh, just having a few drinks and a catch up, and then it's back to work. Later this evening, I'm gonna try and get a gym session in before. Um, the day's over and then starting in the morning I'm going to go to Bev's Powerhouse Gym, um, famous gym over here in New York um, and I'm looking forward to finally getting there and hitting some weights. It's Hollywood smiling there for My first ever Uber here in New York. Um, back to the hotel. Um, had a great day uh, walking around New York, seeing the sights, um, and seeing some old friends from the UK as well. Uh, I've left them on the piss still um, because I've got a big day tomorrow, and um, I've got a big few days. Uh, I didn't want to get stinking drunk and have a hangover for tomorrow. So I've got back to the hotel. I've not trained today yet, so I'm going to go and hopefully I've not seen the gym yet, the hotel gym, but. I'll be able to do a workout there, so I'm going to go and have a go at um, a quick think. I'm going to do chest. Right, not good news on the uh, hotel gym front. I'm going to give you a little insight into what I'm working with. Not great, not great. What is that? <laughs> anyway, I'm not making excuses. I've still got to get it done. I am aiming for that Arnold Classic and that Olympia title next year, so every exercise, every workout counts.
It's a nice early cold Sunday morning, but today I'm training at uh, Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym, which is the East Coast Mecca, and I cannot wait for. So I've been looking forward to this for the past year. Heading over there, it's about 30 minutes away, uh, so I'm gonna mentally prepare myself for a big chest and maybe abs session. <laughs> Here at uh, the East Coast Mecca, look who I found. First person I bumped into. What's up, everybody? Coming from New York City, everybody in UK, what's up? Everyone <laughs> around the world, God bless you guys. And I'm calling it now 2017 Men's Physique Mr. Olympia, right here. Oh, I don't know about that, but I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. No pressure. <laughs> It's another early morning here in New York. Uh, it's my last day here and I'm heading to the airport now as my time in New York is done. Um, I've had a great two days, really busy, managed to see some of the sights and obviously get to the East Coast Mecca yesterday which was the highlight for me. So now it's on to Cincinnati. <laughs> here in Cincinnati. Um, it is the third leg of my America trip. Um, it's good to be here. The weather's pretty decent so I'm happy with that. Um, we're just heading now to the hotel, yeah? Yeah. We're just heading to the hotel. Gonna get a quick bite to eat and then we're gonna go and uh, find a gym we can train in. This is Tim. Hey guy. <laughs> and he's um, he works for, for USN over here. So I've just finished legs, um, quite a good workout. We did uh, three exercises on calves, three on hamstrings and three on quads. So um, a well-deserved, I'm not saying cheat meal because we're at a steakhouse now, we're at Outback. They assure me this is a, a decent steakhouse here in uh, America. Okay, so we made the order. I've gone for a fillet steak, uh, sweet potato and mixed vegetables. How was it? It was alright, very nice. <laughs> what was the best part? It's got to be the steak, isn't it? Fillet steak. The concentration. Got it. Right guys, we're here at Power Station Gym uh, in Middletown, which is just outside of Cincinnati. Um, absolutely awesome atmosphere here. We've only just got here and check it out. Proper old school, nitty gritty. Uh, spit and sawdust gym um, and like I say this is the gym these are the type of gyms I feel a lot more comfortable in so uh, I've trained in a lot of fitness gyms um, on my travels um, but these are the gyms where I feel at home and I can't wait now to, to get a lift in so we're going to be hitting delts uh, first and then later this evening we're going to be hitting arms <laughs> So that's the shoulder workout done. We've done an abs workout also, and um, a little quick jokey uh, 20 minute workout as well. So that was a massive, massive morning of training and filming. So what better way to refeed than an IHOP. Stomach is absolutely full to the brim now, but we're gonna go to Tiger Fitness headquarters now where they've got a gym and we're gonna do some extra filming. Um, and I think we're gonna hit a big arms workout as well. So today, is going to be a huge expenditure so it's all about getting the calories in in between sets we're here for round two of today here at tiger fitness is local gym or headquarters and we're going to hit arms so i am feeling a bit tired because obviously we hit shoulders this morning but i'm still up for the workout i've had an amino stim caffeine kick let's do this
that's a wrap um, for today. Thanks to everyone who came out as well because it was a bit of an open gym uh, seminar type of get together and it was 24 hour notice and a lot of you, you guys turned up so I'm very very grateful for that. What we are doing now, we're going for a big feed up here at Firebirds. <sighs> Morning guys, it's the 17th of November which means it's my birthday. <laughs> and we're halfway through the America trip now. As you can see, it's quite cold here in Cincinnati and uh, it's very early. But we're heading to the airport and we're getting out of this cold weather and to Fort Lauderdale, yeah? So yeah, we're gonna have a day in Fort Lauderdale and then we're gonna head down to Miami. So uh, still a lot of traveling to do. We're only halfway through, got a lot to do. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. I'll see you in Miami. So I landed here in Fort Lauderdale and look at the USNG wagon. Got picked up in, riding in style. I'm coming straight to your eardrums. I'm coming straight to your eardrums. It's Mr. Unstoppable. It's Mr. Unstoppable. Legs hanging out the phantom. Two pretty bitches walking by, call me handsome. Hey. I said, ladies, I'm the next Richard Branson, but God don't hurt you, so they suck at me in tandem. Birthday burger. Nurse coming closer to the guys. All that I could do. 20 cc's of a double D's. Got me trying to clean my D with the upper T. Upper three is wild. I'm breaking. feeling uber, uber special on my 28th birthday today. Absolutely awesome day. Started off quite bad. Two flights. Um, very hectic, busy. All was made better when they gave me the keys to these two babies. I got to choose which one I wanted. Obviously, you got the Porsche or the Ferrari 458 Special, and yeah, it's gotta be that, it's gotta be the Ferrari Special. $800,000, which is slightly out of my price range, but what a car, and he's gave it me for the night, so uh, feeling very, very blessed, very blessed, shall we say. Um, yeah, and bloody buzzing. Uh, I wanted to do this out here because I'm feeling very grateful this morning um, and very appreciative of where I'm at. We're here in Fort Lauderdale and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm on um, a penthouse suite apartment, um, 36 blocks up, so obviously uh, it is quite windy up here, but I just wanted to make the most of this view and I'm only here for a few days, so I'm making the absolute most of it. So um, just a recap of, of what I've been up to. Um, I've been out here for two weeks now and I've been touring the East Coast. Uh, the reason for that is I'm really determined uh, for 2017 to um, to get that Mr. Olympia title and to, to do well out here. So I wanted to come out prior to 2017 and start putting a plan together and getting a feel for what I need to do to improve physique wise and um, profile wise out here in order to, to get the Mr. Olympia title. So. Um, I know I've got a, a big, big uh, job ahead or big task ahead to, to make those improvements to get that first place, but I'm more than fired up for it now and I really am ready for it, especially after this trip. Um, it's been a very productive one, busy, tiring, um, all those things, but at the same time, it's been amazing and I'm glad I've come out here now. So the first leg of the trip, obviously you've seen, um, I was in Pittsburgh and I went to see Jim Mannion, who's the president of the IFBB. The reason for that, I wanted to know what it's gonna take for me to get to that first place, um, what improvements I need to make with my physique, um, and whether um, coming out here is the right thing to do for, for getting that title. The second part of the, the trip was to see uh, Steve Weinberger in New York, who is the head judge of the Olympia. So Steve has uh, judged me for probably four or five six maybe pro shows now so he knows what my physique's like and um, he's experienced in that and he's always placed me well so I just wanted to know what it's going to be from him to get me from that second place to that first place so um, he gave me some good um, feedback some uh, positive constructive feedback should we say and it's just really purely on size I think uh, I'm just not quite the size um, the American market wants yet so um, that's my aim is to, to grow in certain areas and to improve um, on a bit of more muscle maturity and a bit more thickness through my chest my arms and my back so um, at least I've got a plan together now and I cannot wait to start implementing that when I get home 
uh, which is in a few days time. So as it stands, I'm here in Fort Lauderdale with my uh, sponsors USM. They've recently set up out here. They're, they're a massive company um, all over the world, but they're not very well known in America. And for me, it's great to see already how, how much they've progressed out here. They've only been out here since March, which makes it six to eight months, uh, but they're making really good headway and the American people seem to be um, liking the products and uh, it's starting to sell and it's starting to move. So I've been with USN now, would you believe, for six years um, and I've just recently signed for another three years um, and I'm proud of that. I really am proud of the fact that I've started my career with um, with USM, with one supplement company, and I'm going to end it with them, hopefully. Um, obviously, I don't want to end it in three years, but you never know, and um, I'm just proud to say that I've stuck with one, and I am, um, I'm glad I have. Like I say, they've, they've always supported me, and um, the products aren't half bad either. <laughs> so, um, right, so the general census on what we're doing from now, it's going to be, we're in Fort Lauderdale, and we're going to head down to Miami today. Um, the reason for that is it's the... MPC Miami Nationals, which is probably one of their biggest, one of the Americans' biggest show of the year for amateurs. Um, I'm really looking forward to this because I have never been to an MPC show. I've been to a lot of pro shows and I've been on the circuit around here for two years now, but I've never managed to get to, um, to yeah, to a, to a, um, an amateur show. So I'm looking forward to that. When I was coming over yesterday um, on, on the flight, there was half the plane was competitors and it was amazing to see. It really, really has fired me up to, um, to compete and get back on stage again. Most people and the people I was with don't compete and they were looking at the guys all depleted um, with the fish and broccoli in their um, Tupperwares and, and very tired, saying, why do they do it? And, oh, they won't fancy that. But for me, it was completely the opposite. I was looking at them in envy, I was thinking, I can't want to get on stage. So um, I think that's just what a competitor is about. And I think that's once you've stepped on stage once, uh, you'll get that buzz all the time and you'll never look back and you'll understand what they're going through. Uh, and you'll respect it a lot more, I think. I think once you've done a diet and once you've been through the pains of of depleting right down as far as your body can take, um, that's when you, you realise the respect for, for other competitors and you know what they've been through. So. Um, Good luck to everyone who's competing. I know this is going to go out after after that, but um, I do want to wish them all luck and, and congratulations to, to anyone who wins and gets the pro card because this is um, a pro qualifier. So the winner from, I think it's each class, is going to get their pro card. So I could be competing against some of these guys next year. So uh, I will be looking out for that. Um, I have seen on social media that there's a lot of uh, good athletes um, who are bringing their A game. So it's going to be a tough competition, but I'm looking forward to it. But not only that, USN are there as well. USN are sponsoring. It's one of their first NPC shows they're sponsoring. So we're all a bit nervous. We don't know what to expect, um, but we're up for the challenge and we're there for the full weekend. Uh, and then after that, I'm hoping to have one day here. Um, I might go and see Flex. He's only 20 minutes up the coast, but I'm not sure if he's back off his honeymoon yet. Um, so maybe not. But um, that's been basically the overhaul of uh, the, the trip is to is to get a, a feel for everything out here and to put a plan together for 2017 because I'm not messing about anymore. I, um, I've had a good two years out here. I placed fourth in my first Olympia, second uh, this year's Olympia. There's only one way to go now and, and I really, really, really have to believe in myself. I'm nervous. I know I've got a lot ahead of me, um, a lot of work to do, but I'm up for the challenge and I, and I really want it now. So um, the moment I get home, all right, not the moment I get home because I've got a holiday <laughs> with my girlfriend in Cape Verde, but after that, when I get home, that's the 4th of December, that is when I really start my prep for my next show, which is the Arnold Classic. So the Arnold Classic is the 5th of March. I'm starting on the 4th of December, just before Christmas. Like I said in the, the vlog earlier, it's not ideal, but it's part and parcel of what I do. And um, I have, I have uh, dieted over the past two or three Christmases, so it's not out of the normal. And as long as I factor um, fact of the cheat days in i.e. Christmas Day and New Year's Day, then we should be fine. Like I say, I'll, I'll have a low carb day or low uh, low carb uh, low carb week running up to it, so I can have two massive refeed days um, and just enjoy myself. It's all about having a balance and being able to fit it into your lifestyle. So, whoa, look at that sun. <laughs> so I'm not going to bore you anymore. Um, I'm going to give you a shot of this view, what I'm looking at, and uh, I think you'll realise and know what I'm on about and, and uh, how beautiful this place actually is. I guess I'm Mr. Unstoppable. I guess I'm Mr. Unstoppable.
Yeah, I guess I'm Mr. Unstoppable. Will they ever catch me? That's a problem. Which one to choose? G-Wagon. Hi guys, this trip just keeps getting better and better. Um, great birthday yesterday, as you saw, I drove the 458 Special. Only 499 made in the world. It's this one, the 458 Special. Those two I've driven now, very, very happy with. I'm gonna take you to the next car he wants me to drive. Um, very surreal, this doesn't happen to me a lot, and um, yeah, I'm lapping up every minute of it. But this, doesn't look much, but if anyone is a car fan and knows their stuff, then you'll know this bad boy. Brand new G-Wagon, Mercedes G-Wagon. Phenomenal, phenomenal car. I drove one, or well, I drove Albis uh, in USN, uh, South Africa, uh, a few years back. Fell in love with it, absolutely beautiful car. And he's trusted me, <laughs> I don't know why, but he's trusted me to uh, come and pick it up and take this one down to Miami. So uh, I've drawn, I drove this one around Fort Lauderdale, the 458 Spider, the 458 Special. Now I'm driving the G63, the G Wagon, uh, down to Miami for the MPC Miami Nationals. So uh, excited is an understatement. Right, so we're here at the uh, Hyatt Regency and we're here with Team USN and downtown Miami. So we're going to get on in, uh, get set up and get on with the show. Um, I've just managed to get away from the expo. Although um, I'm enjoying being there and it's great to, to meet the fans and um, very overwhelming how many people have been supported there. Um, it's nice to get away. I've been on the USN booth now for a good five or six hours and um, I just want to get out and train. So. I managed to sneak off and uh, found an LA Fitness. So, not my type of gym, I'm not gonna lie, which I've told you before, I'm more uh, spit sorters, hardcore gyms, <coughs> but it's got everything I need in here to do uh, a good chest workout. So, um, I've attempted chest and abs, not bad, but you just can't beat the, uh, the shakes over here, they don't mess about. I am coming to the end of my trip, I've got two more days here and then we're going to be uh, heading back to the UK. Being out here has made me realise what I need to do. I need to stop messing about, get home and get training. Um, the Arnold Classic is the 5th of March and as of last night I think we've kind of agreed that that's the, that's the time I move out here. So I'm literally going to come out, prep at home or prep in the UK and then um, as soon as I compete in Ohio, I stay out here then. So um, I'm going to do a little tour, head to LA, um, do the West Coast, and then do a tour of the East Coast, and then settle down at uh, Boca Raton. So all exciting things, massive uh, 2017 ahead. Right guys, that is it. My America trip is over. Um, I've had an absolute blast. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm here at Atlanta Airport on my way back to the UK. Yeah, I've got a bit of a glow about me now because uh, I've had a very, very productive uh, few days in Fort Lauderdale. Some big projects coming up. I need to spend more time out here. That's very apparent. Um, things happen as soon as I'm here. I've been here for two weeks and in that two weeks, I've done more to raise my profile and to, um, to get places over here and to, to better better myself. This is definitely where I need to be, and it's where I want to be. Um, it's just a different buzz out here, the, the sun, um, the way of life, and again, it's progressing in my career. Hey, well, I'm gonna get one over. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Now it's time to go home. <laughs>